Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn about loops in C++. First of all, why do we need loops? To perform an operation multiple number of times, we need loops. Suppose we need to print hello world 10 times. We can do it by hard coding it 10 times like this, but this is a naive and very inefficient way of doing this problem. It is better to use loops for it, where we just need to write the C out line once and the output is printed as many times we want. Let's learn how to use while loop first. While is an entry control loop, that is, we enter the loop only if the condition of while loop is satisfied. Here, we declare a variable i equal to 1 and suppose we need to print hello world 10 times. We write while i is smaller than equal to 10 and start the parenthesis for this loop. Since we just need to print hello world, we write c out hello world. And after each printing, we need to increment the counter, that is i. Now, let's understand how this works. Initially, i equal to 1, which satisfies this condition. So this line is, exec is executed and i is incremented. Now, i equal to 2, which also satisfies this condition and hello world is printed again. This is continued till i is smaller than equal to 10. That is, this loop runs 10 times and hello world is printed. Let's run this code. We can see that hello world is printed 10 times. So this eases our problem. Now let's learn how to print counting from 1 to 10. Similarly, we'll have a while loop with counter starting with 1 but this time we'll be printing the counter instead of hello world. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is as expected. Now let's do the same thing using a for loop. For is also an entry control loop. So uh, for a for loop the syntax is this. First is an initialization expression. Then we have a test condition and then we have a update condition. Let's understand how this works. To let's suppose we need to learn uh, we need to print hello world multiple times using a for loop. Here we have a variable i and we have a for loop. We know that the first is initialization condition which we set as i equal to 1. Then we have a check condition. Since we want to execute this loop, let's suppose 10 times, we write i smaller than equal to 10, just like while loop. And just like in case of while loop, we want to increment the value of i. So we write i plus plus in the update condition. Inside the for loop, we just need to write the print statement. Let's run this code. We can see that hello world is printed 10 times. We can also have a look at the counting problem using a for loop. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is as expected. So this brings us to the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comments section.